Let's get into pano and fill edges. So I got a pretty extensive panel here. So let's go into right click and let's go to photo merge and let's go to panorama. And it's a lot of images, so it might take a second to do this. And it built my preview. And notice all this white space because I wasn't on a tripod. I was hand holding. Now, before I would have done boundary warp, kind of warp the image into the rest of the pixels. But now there's something else to choose. There's fill edges. And I used to always question, why is boundary warp a slider? Either you want it or you don't. Do you ever go halfway and stop? <laughs> no, you usually want it all or you don't want any of it. But now there's actually a reason for it to be a slider. Because if you use the content aware technology of fill edges, that worked in this case. But if it had started repeating some of the edges because there was so much white space, it just started duplicating. And it might be doing some of that with these houses. But let's say it started doing a bad thing in the corner here then what I could do is use boundary warp to kind of fill in and get some of that taken care of and use fill edges to do the rest. Elevate your photo editing skills at the Kelby One Lightroom Conference coming up May 16th and 17th. Learn from the experts and transform your photography. Sign up at kelbyonelive.com.